Hello, I'm Dr. Ryder Modgill and I'm an NHS GP and broadcaster on radio and television. And I would like to share some tips with you about how to protect your mental and emotional well-being during this time. At times of crisis and huge challenge, it's super important to look after your mental and emotional health because with good mental health, we have better resilience to cope with whatever pressures and challenges come our way in the future. We are all in this together so we can help each other and help ourselves to try to remain well mentally and emotionally. My first tip is to realise what you are in control of. We're not in control of everything at all, but we are in control of some things and we can be proactive about those. And being proactive actually helps reduce anxiety and fear levels when we're doing something to help a problem or a situation. So for example, following the expert medical guidance around how to stay safe, working out with your work around how you're gonna work and when you're gonna work, and also thinking about financial pressures and talking to organisations and reaching out for support about the practical matters of day-to-day -day life will help reduce your worrying. My second tip is to then realise what you're not in control of. So we can't fix everything, we're not in control of certain things. And it's almost good to make it a daily practice to sit with those. And if you get a thought around something you can't control, you're worrying around, to sit, close your eyes, do some breathing exercises and almost visualise those thoughts leaving you. It's really difficult, but if you try to make it a daily practice and notice and be aware of your thoughts and try to let those go, then it will really help you stay mentally well. My third tip is to create a daily structure and timetable. Humans like routine, we like structure because it makes us feel safe and we can realise or we can see that there is some normality going on in the world when at the moment it's very difficult to find any of that. So structure your day, get up at the same time every day, have a shower, get dressed, make sure you're working at certain times if you are working or you're doing something to occupy your mind during those times and boundary off different sections of your day for different activities. So for example, you might make a third of your day something creative or something to relax, but it's very, very important to try and regulate your sleeping patterns, your eating patterns, and try to find a sense of normality because that will help you with your anxiety. My fourth tip is to get creative. So to take your mind away from those worries and those thoughts. So for example, it might be learning a new online course. It might be crafting, it might be painting, it might be doing some physical activity. It might be listening to music or reading a book, for example. Anything that takes your mind away from those thoughts is really, really helpful. Keeping busy and keeping active is one of the most important things that you can do to keep your mental health well and also just to stop worrying and keep your mind quiet and relaxed. So do try that. And if you need to do that with other people, there are loads of online groups and online forums and loads of stuff on social media where they're doing lots of communal and group exercises all together and activities together. So do structure your day, have a timetable and have a routine to help you. And my last tip is very, very important. We as humans are social creatures. We're social animals. We like connection. We need connection with each other. And obviously this situation is making that really, really difficult but we can find ways of connecting in other methods or other modalities. So online groups, social media, the radio, the television, um, a peer group, an online group, for example, on your phone that you've kind of created and you speak to someone or one of those people every single day or two to three times a day. That's super important for two reasons. So you actually connect with other human beings, you hear their voice, but also you can talk to them about how you're feeling. If you are anxious, if you are worried, you can talk that through with someone, realize that you're not on your own and other people are feeling that way. And again, just getting that emotional and human support will really, really help your mental health.